Kenya joined the West of the World in marking World Children Day 2018. The commemoration ran in the theme Generation Safe and Healthy and sub-theme Elimination of Child Labour and Protection of Young Workers. This comes even as the International Labour Organization estimates that 21 million people are victims of forced labour globally, most of them being victims of human trafficking. Women, children and the youth are the most susceptible to human trafficking. Kenya has been mapped as a source destination and trusted for trafficking. This is according to African Network on Child Trafficking. The network claim mechanisms including having specialist officers trained in high level intelligence should be put in place to help fight the vice. Some had a different opinion on who exactly is to blame, others complaining on how the syndicate is strong and the country needs to come up with policies to effectively fight it. Wanawake wana wao ndio wanatoa watoto wao. Hata kama ni mtoto mdogo, mama ndio anamtoa mtoto wake aende. Ama kama ni msichana, mama anaambia mtoto wake msichana wewe ni mwanamke kama mimi. Kwa hivyo wewe toka, enda ujitafutie. Hawa wa mama waelimishwe kuhusu majukumu yao kwa watoto wao na wawe wanaweza ku, kujikimu kimaisha wao wenyewe kusudi waweze ku, kuelimisha watoto wao wawapeleke skuli wafanye nini we have had many cases of child trafficking that have not seen light of day based on quite a number of reasons and these cases are from the survey that was done by ANCAN 2016 that identified five major areas one there was a gap in the prevention aspect, in the protection aspect, in the partnership aspect, in the police aspect and prosecution aspect. Based on that then ANCAN, it's being implemented in four counties, that is uh, Fusia because of the porous border of Uganda, Kenya and we're also working in Marsabit and Mandera counties, Nairobi because it's the port, the hub and destination of victims of trafficking. According to the network, this year alone they've rescued 148 victims, the reason being the rescue of 21 Lebanese girls in Westlands. Out of this number, five were children, some are trafficked against their will, while others are due to social vulnerability in their countries. It's not just girls who are being trafficked, it's also boys who are being trafficked. And what we are doing as a, as a country, and what I've seen different organizations doing, even uh, agencies, is they are creating awareness by using the uh, uh, Nyumbakumi initiatives, for instance. They are also using um, the training schools, the training colleges, they're using that to, to create awareness. Then they're using NGOs, you know, like faith-based organizations, uh, community-based organizations, to actually create awareness on what human trafficking is. Human trafficking must be fought by everyone, and child protection starts with you. On the other hand, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime Regional reports human trafficking and smuggling of persons is one of the biggest global challenges affecting the lives of millions of people and driving billions of dollars to criminal organizations. Globally, 27 million people are said to be in modern-day slavery, while 800 people are trafficked across international borders annually, but 1 million children are exploited by the commercial sex industry annually. Anne Mashereke TV.